he drinks out of a little hamster bottle attached to my desk. He's about the size of a very small guinea pig. He was born with a cleft palate. The breeder tube fed him for about three weeks. A lot of breeders put them to sleep, so it was great that they didn't. And then, of course, they can't sell the puppy, so they reached out to Snort. Short nose only rescue team. Kicks in any pugs, Boston Terriers, French Bulldogs, and English Bulldogs. I usually pick in their sick puppies so that I can provide around the pot care. When I first got him, he was three and a half weeks old and he looked like he was a newborn puppy. So he was very, very tiny. And he's doubled in size since I've gotten him. So he's tremendously small. He wasn't showing any kind of affection, any kind of personality whatsoever. No wagging of the tail, no excitement. I immediately started tube feeding him, monitoring his weight, making sure he's meeting his caloric intake and his water intake throughout the day. <laughs> this is his happy place. This is literally all he wants to do. He just will sit in someone's arms all day and just snuggle up in my neck is where he sleeps most of the time. And he literally sleeps like a parrot like this every single night in bed. If he tries to play, he'll try to fall over and roll over sometimes. So definitely have some neurological characteristics that make me think he does have hydrocephalus. He will come to me, he'll walk to me, but definitely there's not normal puppy interaction. So whenever I see him play, I'm like, oh my God. And he won't play with any toys, just my face and my fingers. Oh, thank you. <laughs> knows that some sleep and nuzzle with her she's very good like he could just hang on her jowls and she's fine it's crazy seeing the difference in size she's 58 pounds a huge huge difference he goes outside and he, he just nuzzles his whole feet into the grass he loves it he runs around and he was just so excited because the grass was like almost the same height as him every obstacle that we have faced he has overcome me He's been a complete trooper, like no complaining whatsoever at all. You see the fight in him, despite how neurologically slow he is or with the club palate. He's a severe amount of work, more than any foster I've had, but seeing him improve every day is 100% worth it. A dog that I thought was not gonna make it, seeing him grow and change, it's beautiful. I wouldn't change anything.